Hi, and welcome to the second introductory course on FPGA-based system design. Reconfigurable systems, while providing new interesting features in the field of hardware software co-design, also introduce new problems to be faced in their implementation and management. This is particularly true for systems that implement self-partial reconfiguration, such as scaling set platforms. This course will present several scenarios where the reconfiguration can be effective, such as the needs for runtime flexibility, lack of resources, showing also some drawbacks introduced by this new feature. These drawbacks won't be an issue. We are interested in doing science, and wherever we are encountering drawbacks, we see a room for improvements, and that is exactly what we are going to do. We will show the presence of two different kinds of limits, theoretical and physical ones, trying to highlight possible solutions to both of these. After a few starting lessons describing partial reconfiguration and on how to manage FPGA's reconfiguration runtime override, I will describe your FPGA design tools. These tools must provide a design environment based on digital design concepts and components. They must hide the complexities of placements, routing, and bstream generation from the user. To program an FPGA, we need the hardware description languages to help us in describing the desired system behavior. Once we will have it, we will also need to generate the necessary configuration bstream file. This will be done First of all, through the logic synthesis. I won't guide you through this step in details, but during this course I'd like to give you an idea of what is happening behind the scene to better understand the complexity of the process carried out by the tools you are going to use. At the end of this process, if everything is respecting the system requirements, we can generate programming files. This is the phase used to generate the well-known bstreams to be loaded into the FPGA configuration memory for configuring it. That's it. We are now ready to start this course. I hope you will enjoy it.